All right, it's time to learn how to add some cool features like a, uh, a cannon into my Minecraft world. So here's my Minecraft world. It's a little bit big right now, but boy, and I've just learned how to make a big, huge block. But one of the things kids always notice is that if I look at my inventory, I find TNT. And in this world, TNT doesn't really do much. There's no flint or steel, so uh, to build a cannon or build something cool, you kind of have to um, use some, some programming. So let's go down onto the world, and I'm going to pick a spot right over here where I'd like to put a cannon. Oops, escape. I'm going to tab out of my world, and I'm going to minimize this big world, and I'm going to go over here to my uh, tutorial. Uh, the tutorial we were in is uh, using the API tutorial. And remember, we visited this earlier. The first few screenshots showed, hey, if you want to make a massive analog clock, a directional cannon, or a huge game that looks like a snake game, you can uh, follow either one of these. I'm going to do the directional cannon. Kids really enjoy this one. Um, again, we're using the API, the application programming interface. Um, and um, Martin's put a nice little YouTube up here, so you can follow that, but, but what you need to know is that this is a, a set of commands that you'll actually be typing into uh, the, the, the shell. So if you hit start, it starts up the cannon. If you rotate it, you can put in an amount of numbers after it and it'll rotate the cannon or tilt, and the cannon will tilt, and then the kid's favorite, fire. So first thing, we need to copy the code to go get it from GitHub. So just like we did before, we'll get a set of code, sudo apt get install get core, and it's going to go to Martin O'Hallinan's Minecraft place, and it's going to grab this bit of code for the for the Minecraft cannon. And I'll open up my terminal window. I'm going to paste that code in there, and watch what it does. It does a bunch of searching fetched. It's reading the database, unpacking it, and now I'm back to the Raspberry Pi. Let's see where it put the code. Oops, I wasn't trying to do that. If I click on the this one, okay, remember I'm in my home directory for Pi, and I look in here and I see Minecraft Magpi did that one earlier. I see should see one called Minecraft Canon. Oh, I have to do two separate lines. The first one did this one, sudo apt get install core. The second one is this one. Copy. So it's not a two line code. It's this one. So now let me paste that. Cloning into Minecraft Canon. There we go. Now it's done. So now if I go back to my file folder, let's see what do I see here. Uh, Minecraft Canon, right there. Looks like it worked. I'll open up this folder and notice I've got a few uh, libraries and information. And then this one right here says Minecraft Canon PY. We're going to right click on this and open with the editor that we've been using, or the program that we've been using, Python 2. Right. There it is. Look at all that code that he wrote. Thank you, Martin. Notice when you write code, you put a little uh, hashtag that tells you what is happening for each one, each one of the things. That's not being read by the computer. That's just telling the person who's looking at the code what's happening there. Class to handle Minecraft drawing. Okay, And this is the code that goes along that. Draw point. And it's telling you where to draw. Draw a sphere. If not, then draw this. Draws a face when past a collection of vertices, which make up a polyhedron. Okay, so all of this is fun to say, but what we really want to do is try running this thing and see what happens uh, in our Minecraft world. I'm going to open Minecraft, and obviously Minecraft is a wee bit too big here for us, so I'll make it smaller. I'll be able to see it. 
and uh, I'll try to grab and move it over here so I can watch it in the corner. When I run this, run module, now my program has started. And remember, back from that website we were looking at before, I'll close this file folder because we can see it. Start is the command for start it. S-T-A-R-T. So somewhere around my Minecraft world, there should be a new cannon being built. Let me click in here and look around. Oh, what's that? All right, well, that looks like something. Let me look back at it. Oh, wow. Tab back. And I just want to see this thing fire. So I'm going to type fire. Oh, there goes the thing of TNT. Well, I wonder where it landed. This time I'll change my perspective over here so I can see where it lands. I'll come back here, fire. There it goes. Off into the blue yonder. Uh, kids will begin immediately messing around with this and uh, trying to build something that can be destroyed as it crashes into it. You know, um, good to learn about things. Now that I've built a cannon, let's go ahead and build something else. Gonna make Minecraft get small. And then that's our one for getting the cannon. Or no, this is our tutorial for getting a cannon. And kids find a massive analog clock is pretty fun as well. Okay. So in a similar fashion, now that you've already done this one, you should just have to grab this one down here. Copy that. And we're in the Minecraft Canon one, so I just open a new terminal and paste this in there. It's getting Minecraft clock, and it's put Minecraft clock into our world. Okay, and then it looks like uh, we've changed into directory, Minecraft clock, and it must be in there. So if I go ahead and take a look at the file folder here, there's Minecraft Canon, here's Minecraft clock, and I open it up. Look, there's Minecraft clock. I can open it with Python. Here's a big set of code, and if I run this in my world, then I should have a big, large clock. Uh, that gets created there that actually works. Now, what's the, the learning here is just that you can make modifications here um, to your world using, using bits of code. So it's just another example. Once kids get excited about this, then the searching can continue. You can find Star Wars, you can find other uh, stories that have been done in Minecraft. And at some point, we'll get up to the point where you can share the code that you've created on GitHub and others can learn from it. Now let's see what happens here. Go back to my Minecraft Pi. Okay, I'm going to move away from all these cannons that I just created. And I'll go over here and look around. We'll put it right there. Okay, tab out of my window. Come over here, and I'm going to run F5. Started. Okay, let's look around in my world and see. Hi, Minecraft analog clock. It's doing something. There's something up there in the sky that I didn't put there. Let's go take a look back up there. Oh, wow. You know, it'd be easier just to fly up here and then move forward. And there it goes, a real working clock. Pretty exciting.